RoboMaster S1 Tutorial Items Check and Assembly Items Check RoboMaster S1 in the box items. Check to make sure all of the items listed are in the box. Before assembling the device, it is recommended that users soak the gel beads in water, connect the battery to the charger, activate the battery, and fully charge the battery. Step 1 Assembling the Mechanum Wheels. Prepare the screw box and grease. Mount the screwdriver bit to the handle in order to use the small end. Assembling the right threaded mechanum wheels. Apply lubricating grease to the shaft holes of the right threaded outer hubs and right threaded inner hubs. Attach the right threaded outer hub to the mechanum wheel mounting plate. This should be done on the side that has the R logo showing. Align the damping ring bracket with the mechanum wheel damping ring. Then mount the damping ring bracket into the mechanum wheel damping ring. Align the notch with the red hole. Then put the bracket into the right threaded outer hub. Place the mechanum wheel rollers into the holes according to the outer hub's rotational direction. Align the right threaded inner hub's triangle slot with the damping ring bracket's left arrow. Press down and rotate the hub clockwise until the triangle slot aligns with the middle arrow. Make sure all mechanum wheel rollers are secured into their holes. Then, secure the five T2 screws using the screwdriver's H1.5N. You can assemble the left threaded mechanum wheel in the same way. Apply lubricating grease to the bottom of the left threaded outer hub and left threaded inner hub shaft holes. Place the left threaded outer hub onto the other side of the mechanum wheel mounting plate. Align the marks and put the damping ring bracket into the mechanum wheel damping ring. Align the notch with the left threaded outer hub's red hole, and then place the damping ring into the hub. Push the mechanum wheel rollers to the corresponding holes following the outer hub's rotational direction. Align the left threaded inner hub's triangle slot with the damping ring bracket's right arrow. Press down and rotate the hub counterclockwise until the triangle slot aligns with the middle arrow. Ensure all mechanum wheels have been pushed into the holes and are securely in place. Secure the five T2 screws. Assemble the other two mechanum wheels in the same way. Step two, assembling the chassis. Check to make sure the battery eject button is functioning properly by inserting and ejecting the battery. Attach the chassis middle frame and chassis cover. Make sure to pull the power cable through the chassis cover's hole. Turn the module over. Mount the cable retainer to fix the cables. Press the two ends of the cable retainer down to ensure it is mounted securely. Secure the T2 screw. Secure six T3 screws with the screwdriver bit's larger end. Align the front axle cover and front axle module base, and then secure the two parts together. Push the module against the chassis front hole. Attach the X-shaped front shaft cover and secure the screws. Open the chassis rear cover. Align the motion controller with the buckle and place it inside. Then push the motion controller against the edge. Connect the power cable. Secure the four hit detectors to their four respective armor plates using the M3A screws.
Connect the cable to the chassis left armor's hit detector. Hold the cable through the chassis front cable slot and then connect it to the chassis motion controller. Secure the armor to the chassis with the screws shown. You can then arrange the cables to be more organized and secure. The chassis right armor's cable connection method is the same as the left armor's. Connect the black cable to the black port. Connect the cable straight in to the chassis rear armor's hidden detector. Fix the cable with the armor's cable holder. Hold the cable through the chassis rear cover's cable slot and connect it to the motion controller. Secure the screws. Check whether the rear armor can be fastened. Align the 3508i brushless motor and ESC with the motor mounting plate. Secure them with three M3A screws. Assemble the three remaining motors. Mount the front wheel motors. Connect the motor cable to the motion controller's orange port. Secure the three M3A screws. Fix the cable on the chassis cable retainer. Mount the other front wheel motor. Connect the orange cable to the orange port. Mount the rear wheel motors. Pull the cable through the chassis rear cable slot and then connect it to the motion controller's orange port. Secure the three screws. Fix the cable with the chassis cable retainer. Mount the other rear wheel motor in the same way. Attach the corresponding mechanism wheels following the chassis mechanism wheel roller direction mark. Secure the wheels using the M4A screws. Connect the cable straight in to the front armor's hit detector. Attach the front rubber stock. Attach two rubber shock rings to the front axle module base. Hold the cable through the front axle and connect it to the motion controller. Secure the armor with the M3A and M3B screws. Step 3. Attaching the gimbal to the chassis. Align the gimbal with the chassis. Place the gimbal onto the chassis. Secure them with M4B screws. Attach the speaker to the bottom of the blaster and then mount the module to the gimbal. The speaker must be installed in the correct place, otherwise the gimbal calibration may be affected.
Connect the cable to the gimbal's side port. Mount the intelligent controller. Connect the intelligent controller to the gimbal port via the 12 centimeter cable. Mount the camera. Connect the camera and speaker to the intelligent controller via the cable shown. Connect the motion controller to the gimbal port via the cables. Make sure you connect the cable straight in to the gimbal. Secure the chassis rear cover using the screws shown. Attach the chassis cabin cover. Step 4. Mounting the gel bead container and intelligent battery. Before each use, Fill the gel bead container with pre-soaked gel beads. Remove any water in the container and then mount it. Insert the intelligent battery into the battery compartment. Now, the RoboMaster S1 is assembled. Thank you for watching.